Hi guys, Mimi G here with another sew along. Today we're gonna be working on one of my new fall patterns, 8749. We're gonna start with the pants, view A. Now if you're new to sewing, you might wanna check out my online sewing school, sewacademy.com, where we teach in-depth online sewing lessons. Now if you just need a refresher course, you can visit the Sewing Basics video linked in the description box below. Watch that, then come back and sew along with me. All right guys, we're gonna be working on 8749 and we're gonna make the pants. In the back of the envelope, you have a list of fabric recommendations along with notions. You're going to need a zipper. Let's go over the pieces you need to get started. You're going to cut out pattern piece number three out of interface only. You're gonna cut out pattern piece number two, which is our pocket facing. You're gonna cut two. And you're gonna cut pattern piece number four, which is the front yoke and pocket. You're also gonna cut two. For our fly front, you're gonna cut pattern piece number six, which is the underlap. You're going to cut one of fabric, and you're going to cut pattern piece number five, which is the fly. You're going to also cut one of fabric and one of interfacing. You're gonna cut pattern piece number eight, which is our waistband. Pattern piece number seven, which is the back of our pants. And pattern piece number one, which is the front of our pants. Once you have everything cut and interfaced, we can get started. All right, we're gonna start with our front pocket. So I want you to grab your front. I want you to grab your pocket facing and your pocket yoke and pocket. So what you're gonna do is with right sides facing, you should have, have applied your interfacing to your pocket facing piece. Make sure and align your notches and pin. Now head over to your sewing machine. You're going to stitch using 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance. Okay, I went ahead and also did some under stitching. So always make sure that your seam allowances are towards your pocket and then stitch along the edge. I trimmed my seam allowance down to a quarter inch. Now I want you to press this under, give this a nice good press and you're going to base across the top and across the bottom just to hold it in place. Okay, once it's nicely pressed, you're gonna go ahead and place your yoke over the top and you'll wanna line your notches. And what you're gonna do is you're going to go ahead and stitch your pocket bags together using 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance. Make sure that your pant is completely out of the way. Okay, once you've sewn your pocket bag together, go ahead and baste through all thicknesses to keep everything in place. The front of your pants should now look like this. Go ahead and do your other front and pocket the same way. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and start on our fly front. I went ahead and surged the center fronts of my pants, and I also went ahead and surged around the unnotched part of my fly. What you're gonna do now is you're going to first stitch front to back between our notch and our large dot. So with right sides facing, place one front over the top of the other, align at your notch and pin, and then I'm gonna put a pin where my dot is. And using 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance, you're just gonna stitch between these two points, between your notch and your dot. Okay, so I went ahead and stitched in between those two points. I also made a slash at my seam allowance right at my dot, just underneath my dot, actually. And be careful not to go through your stitching. You just want to slash it so that at some point this can um, lay flat. So now what you're going to do is working on the left of your pants. You're going to go ahead and pin your fly to the front left. You have some notches there, so you should match up any notches and dots that you see. Starting at our dot, you're going to start stitching, back stitch to reinforce it, and then stitch all the way up to your waistline using 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance. Okay, we're gonna start and back stitch. And I want you to trim your seam allowance to a quarter inch. Okay, I went ahead and pressed my seam allowance out towards the fly, and I'm gonna go ahead and do some under stitching, so close to the edge. Yeah. 
Now you're gonna grab your zipper, and if you follow me, you know that I always use extra long zippers so that I could keep my zipper pull completely out of the way when I'm working. And what you're gonna do is you're going to place your zipper face down, and you want it to extend into your pant, right, onto your pants, a quarter of an inch. So I'm just gonna take a look, make sure I'm at least a quarter of an inch over, and I'm just gonna pin that in place. And now on this side, I'm gonna stitch my zipper down. Okay, so I went ahead and pressed everything to the back and laid it flat. I'm gonna go ahead and pin, because I just want this to stay out of my way for a minute. And I'm gonna open my zipper up. Now I went ahead and pressed on the other edge 3 eighths of an inch and what we're going to do now is we're going to pin it in place right onto our zipper. So I'm placing the folded edge on my zipper tape close to my zipper teeth. Now go ahead and head over to your sewing machine. You're just gonna stitch this down along the edge. Now go ahead and give it another press and now you can see that your zipper is nice and flat and your left should be overlapping your right. Now go ahead and grab the underlap. Now they have you just fold it and serge, but I like to clean off the bottom edge of mine. So I'm gonna have you fold it right sides facing and I'm gonna have you stitch along the bottom to close it using 3 eighths of an inch seam allowance. Then you're going to turn it right side out and serge or finish off the long edge. Okay, I went ahead and finished my underlap. I gave it a good press. I opened up my zipper. Now we're gonna place our underlap behind our right side. And I'm gonna pin through all the layers. I'm just lining it all up so it's at the same exact place that it should be in the back. Now go back to your machine and you're just going to stitch through all layers going along the existing stitching line that you have here. Okay, so I have everything pinned, laying flat, and I'm just gonna follow the existing stitching line and stitch through all layers. Okay, so now you have your underlap in place. I'm gonna pin it out of the way. And working on the right side, you're gonna go ahead and stitch, do your top stitching following either the stitching line that you did or the dots or markings. I always like to do little dots and I'm just gonna follow that guide to make the fly front top stitching. Okay, if you notice, I also pinned my fly front because I don't want it to pull while I'm sewing, so I just pinned it in place. And I'm just gonna follow my guide. Okay, you can go ahead and remove your pins. Lay your underlap nice and flat. Now on the back, you may want to stitch through both of these layers, just the fly and the underlap, just to tack them in place. And then I go ahead and trim off the excess zipper. Now that we have our fly front and our pockets done, we're gonna go ahead and attach front to back legs. Okay, you're gonna go ahead and grab your back and with right sides facing, we're going to go ahead and pin our inseam. I'm gonna match my notch first. Now pin your other front to back along the inseam the same way, then head over to your sewing machine and stitch using 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance. 
Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and sew your side seams. So I'm gonna pin And you should have had a marking, a dot, that you're going to put a pin in because that's where we're going to stop stitching. Go ahead and pin your other side seam the same way. You're gonna start at the top. You're gonna stitch using 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance all the way down, stopping and back stitching at your dot. Now we're gonna go ahead and create our side slit. So what you're gonna do is you're going to fold your pants to the inside Right, you should have that little fold line right in the middle. You're gonna go ahead and fold. And I'm gonna pin to keep it out of the way. And now I'm gonna stitch from where my stitching line is using 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance till I reach the bottom and then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. I'm gonna turn it to the inside, pin it out of, the pl out of place. Starting at my stitching line, I'm gonna stitch using 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance. I have my hem folded in, and I'm gonna stitch using 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance. I'm gonna stop right where I have my existing stitching. Then I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm folding to the inside. I'm gonna place a pin. And in this direction, I'm going to start where my stitching ends. And now when you pop those little corners out, you'll see that you have a nice side split. You just turn the rest of your hem give it a good press and you can blind hem that. Okay, once your side seam split is done, we can go ahead and close the rest of our crotch. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn my pants to the wrong side. Now matching your inseam and your notches on the center back, go ahead and pin. Now go ahead, head over to your sewing machine, close out your crotch using 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance, and then try your pants on. Here we're gonna work on our waistband. So on the unnotched edge, you're going to press up a half inch. Okay, once you have it pressed, you're gonna go ahead and pin it to your waistband, just like you see me doing here. Now you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna stitch all the way around using 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance. Okay, once your waistband is attached, go ahead and press your seams up towards your waistband. We're gonna go to the sewing machine and we're going to close off our ends and we're also gonna create the little cutout in the back of the waistband. If you don't want the cutout, you can skip that step. But if you do, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do it. Okay, so you should have had three little dots, sort of like a little triangle. So you're gonna start at one. You're gonna stitch to the middle one, your old pivot, and then stitch in the other direction. Now you're just gonna clip into that. So I'm gonna clip, make sure you don't go past your stitching, and then I'm just gonna trim off some of the end. So you have a little triangle. Now we're gonna close out the ends. I'm gonna fold down, slightly passing my stitching. You can trim off your excess and then turn it to the right side. You're gonna do the other end the same way. Okay, once you have your waistband folded and pressed, make sure to turn out your little corners in the back if you did the little cutout. And now I'm gonna go ahead and pin on the right side, catching the underneath so that I can stitch in the ditch. Now we're gonna go ahead and we're going to stitch in the ditch. 
Okay, so I'm gonna place my needle right in that seam, right? I want my stitching to fall in that ditch. Now give your waistband one final press. Okay, once your waistband is stitched down and you've given it a good press, all that's left for you to do is to add your hook and eye and then either hand stitch or blind stitch using your machine the hem of your pants and you are all done. Well, that's all there is to it. I hope you've enjoyed this so long and please make sure and follow me on Instagram at Style, and please use the hashtag MimiGPatterns. Until next time, peace.